Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession. With Amel, it's always an honor to bring you prophetic in, um, insights from God. If this is the first time you are seeing me, the first time you are coming across my channel, God bless you. Thank you so much for stopping by. May the Lord use this channel to minister to you prophetically, to tell you the mind of God and help you know God for yourself better. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Please become a part of our community by subscribing to this channel. And do not forget to turn on your notification bell. God bless you as you do that. Hallelujah. And to all my returning subscribers, God bless you. I love you. You are the reason why I am here. God bless you mightily. Someone has been attacking you. But it is not who you think the person is. Someone has been attacking you. And it is not who you think the person is. There's a kind of manipulation spiritually. There's a kind of manipulation in the realms of the spirit. I got to learn that whenever you experience an attack, or especially in your dreamland, you, you get to see someone who comes and maybe they, they engage you into a fight. And they are attacking you. Most of the times, the person you see is not the real person that is attacking you. There's always a, a mask. There's always something that shields them from the real person. Unless you become very spiritual in your dreamland and you are able to fight and defeat. Maybe at the end of it, you're going to see the face of the person. There's always... There is always a conflict. How do I, how did I get certain about this? I got certain about this word because there is, there was a time someone, I was not really close to her at the time. She, she came because of certain things she heard about me. She saw me in her dream and I was attacking her. And she came and attacked me in real life. Like I saw you in my dreams, you were attacking me. I just laughed. And when God gave me this prophetic word, I remember that scenario because I know that it cannot be me. I do not have malicious plans. I do not have evil intentions. As a matter of fact, I cannot be attacking someone in their dream because I'm not a witch, you know. I know myself. So when the Lord gave me this prophetic word, I was like, oh, so this is what happens. They would use someone else's face to come and attack you in the dream because they want you to be at loggerheads with that person not necessarily because it is the person so if you're not spiritual you're going to be um, fighting the wrong people physically you will wake up in the morning and you're attacking the wrong pe person um, physically but if you are sensitive in the realms of the spirit and you are strong that's why you have to build a spiritual life so that when they come with a mask in your dreamland you can unmask them but if you're not that strong in your dreamland, it's going to mislead you. It's going to mislead you. Most of the times, the people that come to you in those dreams and attack you are not the real people. It's just a camouflage. They are using someone else. They dare not come with their real identity. So you have to plan, you have to pray for God to unmask them to you. If not, you're going to judge wrongly. You are going to create enemies for yourself where it is not needed. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. Until I come your way again, I remain your prophetic intercessor. Always believe in God for a fresh word and praying for you. God bless you. Shalom.